Today's gonna be a follow-up class on how to photograph using just a Chromebook. Hey class, Mr. G here. Today we're gonna to be talking about photographing with a Chromebook. And now most of us are using a Chromebook to photograph our artwork for really our classes or students and whatnot. And we're having to deal with that thing that we were issued uh, from county, district, wherever you guys got your uh, your device from. And let's just be honest about a couple things. Number one, the Chromebook is not as good as a cell phone and it certainly is not as good as, uh, as the old DSLR over here. But, but, with a couple different changes, a couple different, a little bit of knowledge here, we can make that a little bit easier on us as we have to photograph our work. So I started looking into researching what is the difference between a Chromebook camera and a traditional regular camera. And this is going to be kind of my default measurement for today's lesson. And the reason being is because this is something you guys can look up if you need the math stats. First off, let's talk about the camera itself. The camera itself is a 720p camera. That is not full HD. Full HD is a 1080p camera. Uh, 720 is HD ish. First off, the 720p is going to kick out a one megapixel image. This kicks out a 20 megapixel image. This thing kicks out an eight to 12 megapixel image. You're just getting a lot more information from these other devices. Now, that doesn't mean you can't get a decent image off of a Chromebook, but you do have to be aware of what you're going to be limited by. It's just how much light is hitting that sensor. As you're extending your depth back, you're going to need more light, more uh, outline of the subject matter to see a clear image. So as it goes back in the distance, it is going to get fuzzier. Uh, so if I stood back way back, like at the wall from this camera, I would be totally out of focus because you can see how the G is not clear cut focus as much as it is here. You are going to have those little bits of changes in the image. Now the sweet spot for camera for manufacturers when they're making these laptops is you're going to take the width of the computer itself and you're going to add about a foot to that because most people are going to sit about a foot away from their camera when they're sitting there during like a web conference or whatnot. So you need to make your artwork about the same distance apart. Give it that nice clean image. All right. Some, so some settings that we need to dive into on the Chromebook itself. You have a couple things. You have photo, video, and you also have a square mode, which is all new in the newest Chrome update that they pushed out. I think it's Chrome 76. And that's going to give you a lot more camera features that are a lot better. They, it makes the camera work a lot better. On the right side of the screen, you're going to have your options between photo, video, and square mode. On the left side of your screen, you can flip grid and also set a timer. Those three things are the ones that we're going to dive into. Now, first off, let's go over to flip mode. Flip mode is going to be very useful to you if you have any written text inside your image. You notice how when you put the image in front of the camera, the text is backwards. Hit the flip and it'll flip it to where the text is read properly. Next thing is grid. On the grid mode, that's going to allow us to square up our, our items in our image. That's going to give us a lot more detail, a lot more structure to when we're taking this image. So use the grid lines to your advantage. And if you hit the settings, you get three different options, which is three by three, four by four, and golden ratio. Basically, the three by three and the golden ratio are relatively the same. Yes, they do change a little bit in the distance wise, but it's still set up where you can easily kind of see the center mode. The four by four gives you more blocks in the middle to play with. Use what is beneficial to you, but use the grids to help line up your shots. Now, also when you click these pictures, the pictures don't automatically go to a photo folder. There is no photo folder inside of Chrome, but there is a files folder. So you're gonna go into files under files. So once you're in files, you'll see two different ways to find your images. Either first one, they're gonna be listed as IMG files. Those are image files or the end of the file is say .j, uh, .jpg, which is a JPEG file. Those are common uh, file fo file formats for photos and uh, videos are listed usually as MOV or MP4, depending on what your codec is. Again, tech stuff, that's for a whole nother video if you guys wanna dive into that stuff. Now, once you've located these, these things work like regular files that you would email out to anybody. So you just hit the little paperclip attachment, attach the fi file to or image uh, to the email and send it on its way. It is not set up for Google Photos currently, might come out in another update, just don't know when. So just right now, just added it as a file attachment. So here we're gonna get into photo editing. You get a couple different options with photo editing. My personal favorites, and I did another video on this, which is Snapseed and Photo Editor. These are Android-based apps. Most Android, most Chromebooks nowadays have Google Play Store. If you have access to that, those are two free apps that you can download and play around with the pictures. And it's just very user-friendly. I like it a lot. 
good stuff. Uh, the other two options that you got to play with are Pixlr and GIMP. GIMP is a web-based file uh, photo editor and you can just put your photo in there and it works very similar to very, very old school layout of Photoshop. Remember the whole light gray sandstone kind of colored look that's what it looks like uh and then there's also pixlr which is a more modern version looks like modern day photoshop and that is a chromebook extension so you again you're going to be working in the browser so if you're in a place where you don't have wi-fi access unless you've got those things already opened up you're not going to have access to them at all so edit however you can has got some excellent out of today's class as always don't forget to take care of the homework which is like subscribe share and all the various platforms get the message out there as best we can don't forget that uh if you had a question comment or concern during class say raise his hands in the comments below and i'll have to get back to you and uh help out my class any way that i can as always i will see you guys next class until then later guys